Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Disguise PC. Uh, this is uh, a little bit after the last episode. Um, well, I mean, it's another day, but uh, I haven't really done much. I think I, I think I only got a new uh, weapon for uh, for Planar, and then I maybe I think I remember buying this for her too. So she should be a bit stronger than she was. Um, so let's go into the next map. I didn't try the Cave of Ordeal, so don't worry about that. Uh, I'm a Setna. One of my pets over there. I was the only polite to you. So I have a special training. I get what? Power of love. Share whatever you say. Ooh, uh, a zombie. A zombie it is. Hey, Brad, don't tell me this is one of your pets. Yeah, you got a problem with that? No, actually, I like it. You got a good taste, kid. <laughs> zombie for a pet, huh? So, how do we catch it? Uh, it's the same thing we always do. I guess that would work. I mean, zombies are already dead anyway. Unless the massacre begin. Agreed. I'm like, sure that's okay. Okay. So, I think I remember this map from when I played it. And... Or when I played it, um, originally. Um, yeah, I'm probably not gonna be able to keep, uh, just demolishing them in one hit. Although that was, I feel like that was pretty damn close. Uh, so maybe this will work. Okay, now he's level 27. Oh wow, I only killed two of them. Wow, that's surprising. Oh, I'm um, I don't feel like leveling up the Prennies and whatnot uh, anymore. So. What I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna take Flan and I'm gonna lift up Planair. <laughs> because Planair is the weakest out of everyone I know. Well, all the main characters I plan on using. And uh, if I carry her, she can't take damage. Which I always liked. Because uh, it's, it's. I don't wanna say it's a cheese tactic, but it's definitely. It definitely was never really intended to be used that way, except for a few uh, Overlord Ball fights, uh, which were implemented later. Damn. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna blaze knuckle. Let's see how that goes. Uh, okay, so we've gotten to a point where people aren't one hitting anymore, which, unfortunate though it may be, is understandable. So I'm gonna see if this kills him. does. Okay, what do you like? Um, I don't want to use Ernest because he's the most powerful out of everyone. Um, let's come over here. Slash. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with uh, sending some people out now because uh, Maharo and Linair. Their equipment just isn't strong enough anymore to be one-hitting the enemies. So I don't want to waste time uh, doing this type of stuff. Um, come over here. Driverst. She has 602 left. Um, neither of you are weak to fire. Um, here, use Hurricane Slash. Yep, I figured it would kill it. Okay. Love. Okay. And I was fine with hitting that zombie because the zombie was already at full health. So, it didn't really matter. So, fine. Survive 93 damage. Should be fine. Okay, that's good. Now just for the sake of lessening the amount I'm gonna have to spend. Not that that really matters. Uh, 
she guns aren't very strong, they have range. Um, and because it, I haven't used that move as much, so it's not as powerful because of the leveling. Which, uh, I only touched upon it briefly, I think, in a past episode. But I really like, uh, like, I feel like I've played down this game a bit because it's just old and whatnot. But it does have certain things that I like better than future games. Or at least some of the future games. Where, uh... Uh, in this game, if you level up the move, that's how you uh, expand the range. That's how you get like the new versions of the move, specifically magic ones. Uh, and I, and it changes like in Disgaea Five with magic uh, to increase the range of it to like get the other shapes that you can attack in. You had to use mana, but in this game, you just have to use the move more. And I like using the move more better because. While, if you do have a lot of mana in Disgaea 5, and you don't want to waste time using the move over and over and over again, you'll just be able to buy the range and stuff. But, uh... uh start working the castle, teach and pick on every day for being a commoner. Hard to believe. I, I didn't feel the need to say all the stuff that they were. At the time, I said, I'm going to the girl. I'm going to the pet. One day I found him dead. Damn demons killed him. Yeah, and we saw that in the uh, end mode. No way. Just cry. Keep her hand. Don't have it. He helped me bury my pet. Yep. Must have been a kind man. Kind. I don't know what kindness feels like, but he's a great man and the one I uh, respect. Pledge my deepest loyalty. But the prince, he's not so fit to su succeed him. That's why you want Lahara to become just like his father. You worry about Lahara. That's love. I doubt it. If he fails, I'll just kill him. What? <laughs> just kidding. And uh, you're starting to scare me. <laughs> okay. So, Sky 5 and Future Games definitely uh, favor the... Essentially, the end game uh, more. In terms of how... Uh, how the... the that one may even reach him. How the um, magic works. But I, pl I prefer... This game's just because it makes it just uh, it favors playing through it normally. In that, like, oh, okay, you're never gonna have a lot of mana in this game because you just it, it just won't you won't get it. But in this guy, like in any this guy game, as you're going through it, mana only comes by beating enemies the farther you go the more mana you get which buying more shapes makes the spells better so you think it would be good but it, you don't get enough mana and of course you could use the cheat shop and stuff which kind of makes up for it but it doesn't do it good enough um i'm going to
pretty sure they these guys were in the blast zone. So I'm gonna move them out of it. Because I don't want to even risk. Uh, how much XP do you need? Honestly, I think I'll just... I think I'm just gonna take them out. Yeah, no, no point worrying over stuff like this. be able to kill him. Let's see. A back attack. Okay, good. Good job. Good job, Prenny. Lethal not go. Okay, go into Raging Earth, but I need to heal because Plenary is dead. And I think my dark record is still clean. Sorry about continuously checking it, but I want to make sure. Because I'm not sure how many chapters there are. I know we're not close to the end yet. I think we're about halfway through the game. Because most, uh, most Disgaea games have like 12-ish chapters, and we are only two, uh, four, six, seven. So we're about halfway through, if I am correct in thinking that there are about, uh, that many chapters. No lifting, no lifting of entry. Still silence, but no damage anymore, which honestly was the uh, concerning part. So now I'll be able to move them, move her over there so she'll be able to heal them. 
Mm, good, they're all funneling towards the people I want. Do about the same damage uh, his regular attack and her side drop, but you know, they just have slightly more health than I would care to see them have. Okay. With that, right there. Okay. So now all the geo effects are gone, which is good. Which is very good. Okay. Fawn is there, so she gets some hits. Nothing good. Saggy drop. Okay. I got wind cutter. It's rather pointless if I can't aim it down. Now I can hurricane slash him. No, I'm not even kill him. Awesome. And I don't mean that facetiously, I mean that quite literally. The less people that Laharo kills, the better. For, uh, for her. Um, okay, end turn. If the nair survives, she'll be in a good place. Because she'll be able to side drop on herself. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Okay, that was dangerous. I forgot she was there. Okay. And that zombie is at full health. So it doesn't matter. Oh, wow. Four health? Um, yeah, I guess I'll... I guess I'll save it because... I, uh, the one thing that I do like <laughs> about this is that... Going through the game uh, this fast and concentrating all the XP into two characters, they do get up to level quite quickly. <laughs> Especially when they have, uh... Ooh, that might be better than any of the defensive items I have, because I don't buy them. Yeah, that is one thing that I usually uh, fault myself on. I oftentimes don't buy the defensive items, I just try and equip as many people as possible in many slots with the all-increase items. why my iron bag is just filled with all this random stuff is because if I go into the uh, assembly, I want to be able to... Uh, 168. Oh, that's why it's good, because that's the gun I had. Um, I want to be able to just give them a bunch of stuff to make them love me. Because I want them to notice me. Notice me. Uh, okay. Okay. Salamander's Breath. Crimson Plains. Go get some talking. Nope. Okay. Jeez, the zombies aren't challenging at all. They're just plain bothersome. That's very true. Well, they do come back to life after you kill them. Hey, Brett. It's okay with you if we tear your pets and shreds. They won't bother us for a while. Go ahead. I take them apart and put them together all the time. I used to do that too when I was a kid. Oh, those are the days. Stop my minutes about your childhood. Do all demon children play that way? Don't worry. Just those two. <laughs> yeah. Okay, where are your GFX? Ah! Okay. So this is a map where I'm just supposed to let them come to me. Because they'll get on these spots. Uh, okay, so... Lahara there. Lanier there. I don't want them to get on the good ones, so I'm just going to put Aetna and I will put... Sure, if anybody can hit from this basement. I know she can, because she has this. Um, awesome. 
was not expecting him to, her to kill, but she got effects probably helped. Ooh, that's a good bunch right in front of the air. Right there. That'd be good to. That's still be good. Okay, getting less good. <laughs> um, but I can still do this. Oh, so oh, so very close to murdering all of themselves, which is. Okay, he's level 29 now. I want to heal, but I can't really do that. Okay. Just weaken him. Braveheart. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Turn. I'll put it on them, so that might be a little even more good at uh, attacking. One thing I could do, if I, if I really want to uh, grind some, I could just equip Planair with a sword and essentially make her a second Laharl for a little bit. That way Braveheart would be even more effective. Okay. Stably and steadily. I completely forgot that this, uh, that this chapter even existed with like this plot <laughs> point because it was just so nothing to me, I guess. Um, I will attack once. Um, okay, cool. You need basically one more kill. You need quite a few more. You both are just out of the. Okay, and then Flan come back in, out of love, and turn. Yeah, this game go by a lot faster when you just uh, turn off all the animations. Okay. Ooh, you're the tougher now. Do not want to split the XP. Good, got a level. That's what I'm looking for. That is what I'm looking for. So this is probably the last map of this chapter. Uh, honestly, this chapter is probably just to pad out the uh, pad out the game a little bit, use some assets that they had because they're only using zombies. Like they haven't used any other like type of demon. They haven't introduced anything new really. They probably just wanted to pad it out a little bit and be like, oh look, look at Laharl being a kind of nice guy and give some history to that. One and another appears. Zombies, zombies, zombies. I'm getting sick and tired of this. You better stay alert or else you'll be sorry. Check out that zombie. What about it? <sighs> Amateur, that is my masterpiece. The fists of a dark karate master. The legs of a fastest demon in the netherworld. The brain of mahogany, a famous sorcerer. The iron body of Hercules. And a horse wiener! All combined into one. The netherworld's ultimate zombie. <laughs> Gotta give him a horse, dog. What did you say? A horse wiener? Now, that's dangerous. Guys, don't let your guard down. That That's some... That's some porn shit right there. Uh, defense. Ugh. 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 Of course, you're all weak to ice. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Ernest and I'm going to see if they survive one regular icing. Hold on. Oh, they did more than survive it. Okay. But. Two of them, she's almost leveled again. And I can't shoot the 
pile up. So he'll also have defense plus 100 on this regular attack. Uh, Etna, throw him a little bit farther. Because my best shot at getting rid of these things is probably going to be attacking with Ernest. And then uh, using Overlord's Wrath. I mean, I could probably get rid of him if I just used one of Ernest's strongest moves. I'm probably going to have to, because the defense 100 thing is kind of annoying. Um, so Omega Ice doesn't reach Giga Ice. Okay, let's see how that does. Yeah, it took care of it. Okay. Um, I drop them. Yes, Always good to see more levels. Levels, levels, levels. Um, back over there. wasn't hard at all. Having range is pretty damn nice. Didn't really have that a lot in the Here, I caught them all! Oh, gotta catch them all. So quit your complaining! What? What's the problem now? Thank you, your highness. Huh. Well, it is part of my job as the overlord. And don't bother to thank me. If you want to show your gratitude, you can repay me with your body. That's... Suggestive. Hmm, I never knew you were like that. <laughs> Idiot. I meant become my vassal and serve me when you're old enough. Yes, your highness. Speak to me with respect from now on, got it? Yes, your highness. <laughs> Did you hear that, Etna? That kid called me your highness. So, do you accept me as overlord now? Well... You passed for the time being, but be careful not to flunk out. Ugh! Why you? <laughs> Talk about strict! Still, Laharl has changed quite a bit since the first time I met him. He is maturing little by little as he meets new people, and it feels like I have changed too. Since meeting him and his companions, if you open your heart, you will surely grow and learn many new things, whether you're an angel or a demon. If I can explain this to other angels, maybe they'll see that not all demons are evil. And someday... Okay, episode 7. Those seemingly innocent prinnies. It turns out they were hiding a big secret. It wouldn't be a secret if it wasn't hidden, dude. When the prinnies' evil spirits join as one, they form Pringer X, the mighty super robot. 
Dude, we can't do that. Here goes. Pringer Spiral Plasma Chop! Gotcha! Pringer Aurora Triangle Kick! This is it! Pringer Spinning Drill Attack! Uh, dude, hello? Next, on Lovely Mad Scientist Edna, Episode 8. Farewell, Pringer X! Dude, you're killing us off! No worries. Pringer X will be reborn as the more powerful Pringer Z! I'm telling you, it ain't gonna happen, dude! Okay, so I think I know what this uh, next episode is. Although, yeah. So, in the, uh, they're just singing the lyrics to this song. But it's all in Japanese. I'm not too keen. Well, I don't think that's the right outfit. I don't really care about talking over the song, just because you can probably look it up and find it. But, uh, talking about cleansing the soul and whatnot. And if you remember a couple of chapters ago, there was a printy that referenced, uh, we only have to do this until the next full moon, or the... reference that the Prinnies in Celestia and the Prinnies in the Netherworld do different things to, uh, to, uh, hmm. uh Who would be singing at this hour? Because, uh, all the Prinnies are basically sinners. Prinnies? Um, where are you going? Don't try to stop them. Huh? Just let them be. They were finally able to atone for their sins. The only thing we can do now is pray for their happiness in their next lives. Oh, is this what they mean when they say fly by night? Um... Yes? You seem different from other prinnies. Were you the one who gave me medicine when I lost my pendant? Well, what are you talking about? You even speak differently than the rest of them. Well, what, what do you mean? Dude, I'm the same as the others. Dude. I understand. You have your reasons, right? Okay, then. I'll just direct this to whoever might be listening. Thank you for your help. Lon? Since you came, the prince has changed. Dude. Huh? You really think so? Sure, dude. Thank goodness. They say that I see things the way I want them to be, so I wasn't sure if Laharl has actually changed or not. But it can't be just my imagination if you noticed a difference, too. All right! That means Laharl is definitely awakening to the idea of love! Love is magnificent! <laughs> it surely is! Episode 8 Reincarnation. Yep. What? Like I said, several prinnies are missing. Why? How should I know? Maybe they ran away because you treated them so badly. Hmm. Come to think of it, 20 hour workdays with no days off was a bit harsh. In conditions like that, it's no wonder that they chose to fly by night. Fly by night? Is there something you're not telling us? Uh, no. Nothing at all. Prince. Hmm? What? Don't worry. They'll be all right. Dude. I'm not worried about them. If people hear that I let my vessels escape, I'll lose all respect. That's why we're gonna find them, even if it is a big waste of time. That's so mean. You don't have to say it like that. Take it easy, Flan. He's just too embarrassed to admit the truth. Really? Yeah. I think. Okay. So with that, I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, and we'll start up uh, uh, this chapter and its maps in the next episode. So with that, hope you all have a very nice day. Thank you.